I'm really not proud of this one, but on a recent portrait photography assignment, I messed up big time. Let me tell you what happened and how thankfully I was able to use some very clever software to save my bacon. In my enthusiasm to get my proof photos back through to my client promptly, I might have cut a few corners and didn't zoom in and check the sharpness of every single photo I'd taken, I just assumed they were good. And as is typical, the one photo that they selected was the one where I'd missed my focus, it wasn't on the eyes, it jumped to the hair behind, so I had a blurry photo that I had to get back to my client. To show you how I used software to solve the problem of a blurry portrait, I got my wife to take a photograph of me. because. Well, I don't really want to use the existing photo that I took for my client because I just don't want to draw attention to the fact that I messed up for them. My first stop on the route to trying to save this blurry photo was to boot up Luminar Neo, which has a dedicated extension designed for solving this exact problem of out of focus photos, and that is Super Sharp AI. So let's load Luminar Neo and see how it performs. When I zoom into this photo, you can see just how out of focus my eyes are, and the focus point is closer towards the back of my head on my hair here. So what we need to do is jump into the edit section, jump into super sharp AI. We have two sharpening methods, universal and motion blur. I'm gonna stick with universal and we're gonna try the low option. And the AI is going to take some time calculating this. And now we have our sharpened version. Here's our before and here's our after. A big improvement, but I was hoping for better. Let's try the middle and the high options. I'm gonna come down and click middle and see what that does for us. Now, as Luminar is using AI to try and solve this blur issue for us, it is quite computationally intensive, so it does take a little while, so might need a little bit of patience, but okay, here's our result. As a reference on the left, we've got our original blurry portrait, and then moving on, we've got Luminar Neo's super sharp AI applied with the low setting, and that's a nice subtle improvement. I don't mind that one at all, but it's not as sharp as I would hope. Moving on to super sharp AI with the middle setting, it does seem to be a lot sharper, a lot clearer, and at first glance that does look like a usable solution. As we move on to the high setting, I'm surprised to see that this actually looks like a step backwards in terms of sharpness. The middle option actually seems to be the sharpest of the three. But now as we jump into a much tighter zoom, we can see a lot of digital artifacts appearing as a consequence of that extra sharpening going on with the middle version. If we're not zooming right in on our portrait, we may well be able to get away with this sharpening effect, but if we do want to come in a little tighter, then the image is going to fall apart pretty quickly, and I really want to avoid that. Now, while any of these three options are an improvement, they're by no means the solution that I'm looking for. But Luminar AI's Sharpen AI does have one more tool up its sleeve, and that is the Face Enhancer option. So I'm going to turn that on and see if we can't get a usable result that way. And as you can see from the finished result, it's actually changing the geometry of my face. And while it's an interesting exercise in the capabilities of AI, it's certainly not what we want for an accurate portrait. So instead, I'm going to turn to the daddy Mac of AI sharpening, and that is Topaz Sharpen AI. Let me boot that and show you what that can do. So we can use this as a plugin or as a standalone app. That is the way I'm using it at the moment. And we can select to have a four up image comparison view, which is going to show us our original in the top left and three alternate versions. We've got the algorithm to correct for motion blur in the top right, one for out of focus photos in the bottom left, and in the bottom right, we've got one for too soft. And then all we need to do is select the version that we think looks the best. I disregard the naming conventions because in this case, the out of focus algorithm should be the one that's actually correcting our out of focus portrait. However, I think the motion blur does a better job in this case. And then with that version selected as denoted by the blue highlight on the name here, we just click in the bottom right, save image. And now Sharpen AI will spit out a new version based on the settings that we've selected. However, that isn't our finished version that we're going to send back to the client. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to open up a photo editor and combine the best bits of this new sharpened layer with the original. So in this case, I'm going to boot up Photoshop, but any layered photo editing app will do. Luminar Neo, whatever. I'll show you the technique. So here we are inside of Photoshop with the original blurry photo, and here I have the Topaz motion blur corrected version. So all I'm gonna do is hold my shift key and then just drag that over as a new layer over the top of my original one. And so now we can see here's our before, 
and here's our after, before and after. So there's two things we want to do here. Obviously we want to sharpen blurry out of focus areas such as the eyes. However, we want to avoid over sharpening areas that were sharp originally, such as around the hairline. And that's where our masking is gonna come in. So I'm gonna create a layer mask to just reveal the sharpened effect only where I want it. I'll rename the layer for clarity and we're gonna add a layer mask to it. Currently, we still see 100% of the layer. So I need to invert that layer mask. I do that by pressing Control i on my keyboard. I'm going to select a brush with an opacity of 50% and I'm gonna click and do one pass over my face. So now you can see that we're applying 50% of the effect. So this is nothing, this is 50% before and after. But we want to intensify the effect in the key areas of the photo, such as the eyes and the mouth. And so I'm just gonna do subsequent passes over those areas. And if you do want more detail in areas of the hair, like this bit here, you can just paint over that. And if the effect is too strong in certain areas, you can just switch the brush to black so that you're hiding the effect and just paint it away. Let's zoom into 100% and just check that we're happy with our mask. So here's our before, here's our after, before and after. Let's have a look at the mask by holding the Alt key, Option on a Mac, and then clicking on the mask itself. And now we can see my beautifully refined mask, but it does the job. Here's the blurry original, and here's with the sharpening applied selectively. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison between our selectively introduced Topaz version and Luminar Neo. You can see there's quite a difference in quality there. So if you're wanting to solve the issue of blurry and out of focus photos, then Topaz Sharpen AI is by far the best software uh, for solving this issue. And I tried a lot in making sure that I'd solved this problem for my client. But personally, I wanted to see if I could improve the result even further. So I tried another piece of software from the Topaz Lab suite because I own Denoise, Sharpen AI, and Gigapixel AI. And I know that Gigapixel AI has a face enhancement feature built into that as well, just like Luminar Neo, but I wanted to see if that did a better job. It did. Let me show you how I used it. So I've loaded our current Photoshop version into Gigapixel AI, which is designed for scaling our photo. But along with the resizing comes some very powerful AI technology that we can utilize for sharpening our photo further. So underneath the scale section here, you can see that we can half the size, we can double the size, quadruple the size, etc. However, if we come to the custom section here, we can change that to a one to one ratio. And now just like with Sharpen AI, we have a four up view. In the top left, we have the standard AI model. We have a low resolution correction on the right hand side. Bottom left is for very compressed photos. And then the bottom right is the version that I want to work with because that is very compressed, the same as on the left. However, we also have the addition of this face recovery toggle turned on. And if we do a side by side comparison with the original, you can see that again, we've had the sharpness increased. So this is the version that I'm going to export and work with in Photoshop. Gigapixel is going to run its magic, creating a full res version for us that we're then going to bring into Photoshop as well again as its own separate layer. We can then use masks to reveal that effect only where we want it. So now back in Photoshop, we've got our blurry original version. We've got the version that we've sharpened as best we can with Topaz Sharpen, so before and after. And now I've introduced the Gigapixel version on top of that. So here's our before, here's our after. Now that is certainly sharpening up our photo, but if I zoom in a little closer and we look at the version that's introduced, it's also adding its own slight color variation. And that is one anomaly I've noticed with Gigapixel AI. If we look at the eye here and we look at the before and after, the colors do shift just a little bit and particularly in the shadows there. So an easy fix to get the best of both worlds in terms of the sharpening, but still the correct color from the layer below is just to switch the blending mode from normal to luminosity. And whether you're using Photoshop or Luminar Neo or any other photo editor with layers, that is gonna work the same. So here's our before, here's our after, and now we can just apply a mask to that. I'm adding a black mask by holding Control and clicking on the Add Mask icon. So that's going to hide everything on that Gigapixel layer. I'm then gonna come in with a white brush, again, work with 50%, so I'm not gonna reveal it fully, and I'm just gonna click on one eye, click on the other eye, do a pass over the mouth, 
make my brush slightly bigger, click and then just paint over the whole face there. And then if I come over holding Alt and click on the mask, we can see what mask I've created. It's very rough and ready, but if we look at the before and after, you can see it's doing a great job. Let's go for one more pass of painting this in, just to make it a little bit more intense. Maybe remove it, the detailing from underneath my eyes. A lifetime of squinting down a camera viewfinder has not been kind to my skin. So let's have a little look at our before and after. Here's our original blurry and out of focus portrait. And here is the recovered version using Topaz Sharpen AI and Gigapixel in conjunction together to get the best quality I possibly could under the circumstances and cover up the fact that I'm a terrible photographer. If fixing technical flaws in your photos, such as blurry photos, noisy photos, or small images that need rescaling is important to you, then you cannot look past the Topaz suite of software. It is what I absolutely recommend. They are not paying me to say that, be nice if they were, but they are not. But I do have a link in the description below if you want to check out that software. This recommendation comes from me personally having tried multiple software and application designed to improve our image quality. Topaz is without doubt the best. So for sure, check out Sharpen AI in the link in the description below, but also Gigapixel AI, Denoise AI, fantastic tools as well, and they come as a bundle if you're interested in just overall image quality improvement. So check that out in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.